All right, so just right now what I'm doing is doing some acupressure to release some of the tension around your spine. And I find when I do some of the acupressure, it'll really take that pressure off so that the adjustment goes a little smoother. This is something we like to teach spouses and significant others how to do this on our patients because if they can do that at home, it can actually help hold the adjustment longer. Uh, so that when we see him again, we're not going to lose the whole adjustment. And these trigger points can actually cause pain as well. And they can travel. Some of the pain can actually be just from trigger points. And one of the ones we see him a lot at is here in the trapezius and just by taking the trapezius and squeezing like this can release a lot of that tension you hold that for about three to five seconds and then you release and you just want to go out towards the end of the trapezius and then kind of work your way in now the trapezius is a big muscle it starts here it fans out this way and then it comes out like this and so by taking that tension off and then we go right into the scapula here there's an uh, area here that gets really, really tight, and this trigger point here, if we can work on that, that really makes a huge difference. A lot of this is caused by postural issues. And many times with our patients, we'll do some acupressure, trigger point therapy to help the patient with their adjustment and also help them with getting a lot of pain relief as well. The other trigger points we see a lot is right between the shoulder blades, right in the rhomboids. So we're going to take care of the rhomboidius major and minor here. Now some patients will go even deeper and will even go in with the elbow and put pressure. Can you handle that okay? Yep. Some of our patients, this is all they can really handle. And you gotta be careful when you're doing trigger point therapy and acupressure that you're in the right tissue. So right now, I'm not on the spine itself because this is the bone and then you have the scapula here. We're right in between there. That's where the rhomboid muscle runs across here and here. This area on a lot of people goes weak because this is an area that doesn't get exercised enough. A lot of people work their chest and their shoulders but they ignore this really vital area of the spine. All right, now the other trigger points we find is in the quadratus lumborum here. And so that's from the iliac crest all the way to the end of the ribs here. There's a muscle right here on either side that we can work on and take a lot of that tension off as well. Again, you're holding for about three to five seconds, and you're also working with the patient to make sure that there's actually uh, feedback, because I'm going as deep as he can handle. I don't see him crying too much right now, but if he was, then we would lighten up. So we're just gonna go right to his tolerance. We can also find that a lot of our patients will get pain in the gluteus medius area. And these are stabilizers, these muscles right here, and these will get very, very tense. So we'll work here and we'll work with the piriformis muscle. This is another one we'll work as well. We'll get in there and we'll just take some pressure right into those muscles as well. And then right into the gluteus medius. A lot of this is also using body mechanics. You don't, for the person doing it, you don't want to Injure your own back so you keep your back straight as you're doing this. You're using your body weight, you're not using your strength for that. All right, very good. All right, how'd that feel? Oh, great. Okay, wonderful. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on getting you adjusted. So what I'm using right now is called palpation. And just by running my hand over the spine, I'm looking for areas of restriction where the joints aren't moving very well. Also looking for muscle spasms as well. So there's one right here. This is the about T7. 
And we're going to go ahead and get that adjusted right now. So take a deep breath. Breathe out all the way. All right. There it is right there. So just kind of roll down with me here. Let that shoulder fall back. There you go. Okay, that's just going up here. Right here, so let this fall back. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. All right, one, two, three. That was nice. Okay. What it's done in my life is once I started coming here and getting rid of that back pain, I started changing my whole life around. All right, let me catch up through here. What we're going to get is your atlas. This is vertebrae right up here, right next to, uh, if anyone could see that, there's Darth Vader right there. Okay, so here we go with the tattoo. Let your head fall back. All right. Honestly, I don't think I could, I could, I'd be where I'm at today if it wasn't for the chiropractor because if, it, if I just would have done diet and exercise, I probably would have messed up my back a long time ago. Thank you. All right, you're all set.